We're live at Beth Page Federal Credit Union Stadium in Brookville, New York, and this is Northeast Conference Football on ESPN3. Today, the Sacred Heart Pioneers take on the LIU Sharks. Pioneers, zone blitz, Orth from the pocket, fires over the middle, ball is tipped up, and it's intercepted. Coming back the other way for Sacred Heart, it's a lob horn. And the Pioneers come up with the first takeaway of the afternoon. Call it second down at about six. Play action pass over the middle. The connection goes to Womack, and he's into LIU territory for a first down at the 45. Here comes the blitz, back to throw. McCray has room, 35, 30, 25, and slides down inside the 23. Ball spotted at the LIU four-yard line. Here's the give to the right side, goes Malik Grant, and he's into the end zone for a touchdown. And so Sacred Heart marches the ball all the way downfield following the horn interception, and they take an early six to nothing lead. First down for LIU from its own 46. Orth calls signals, gives to DeBeek, tries the right side, he breaks it. He's gonna go all the way to the 20, to the 10. Jonathan DeBeek for a touchdown. It goes for 54 yards. He'll be there all day long. Back to pass, looks left, pressured, and he's drilled. Hajasi with the sack. Pepper was also there to clean it up. Pioneers look like they want to send pressure. They were only going to rush three. Orth getting pressured by Pepper. There's the sack. Penalty marker on the play. You can't stop the Pioneers defensive end from getting to the QB. He is ferocious. And All-American Julius Chestnut takes the ball here on second down and eight. And look at him slice through, Kevin. That's vintage Chestnut. First down at the 39 at Sacred Heart University, which he would have been first by far if he hadn't been injured. Only about 300 yards shy of the late Kashawna Spence. Here's Chestnut again, and look at him go. Look at the explosion to the 20, to the 10, five, touchdown! Julius Chestnut for 39 yards, and Sacred Heart is on top, 13 to seven. 99 yard drive. And about two from the LIU 48. Orth out of the shotgun, Dabeek in the backfield. Orth on the pitch back. That's a loose ball. It's going to be picked up by the Pioneers. DeAndre Bird has it, and Sacred Heart will have a first down in LIU territory. Grant again, 95 yards on five carries. Chestnut, 93 yards on 11 carries. McCray is 6 of 11 for 61 yards through the air. Here is Renzi from 49 yards out. The kick looks like it may have the distance. Line drive, and it is good! A career-long field goal by Sam Renzi. Potent running attack on just about every single play. First down from the 35, play action to Grant. McCray looks downfield over the middle, Terrific touchdown! Throw. Terrific throw. Kenneth Womack holds it in. It's his second touchdown of the season. A late penalty flag for unsportsmanlike conduct, and the Pioneers jump on top 30 to seven. Just on the other side of the 50. The give is to Chestnut, try to pick his way through. Has some room to the 40, 35, down the sideline, and he's run out of bounds. If they want, they've got one-on-one -on -one anywhere they want to throw the ball. Back to throw goes McCray. Here's the flat pass, left side, Malik Grant, and he waltzes into the end zone for a touchdown. For Grant, his first receiving touchdown of the day, and the third time he's reached the end zone this afternoon, it is 37-7 Sacred Heart. That'll do it. Final 30 seconds will click off the scoreboard. They are going to snap it one more time to take a knee. And the Sacred Heart Pioneers are your 2021 NEC Fall Football Champions. They will go to the FCS playoffs. The bracket to be announced tomorrow at 1230 on ESPNU. All right, thanks a lot, Paul. We're joined by Malik Grant. Malik, 
Always tough to win a championship. You guys did it today. What makes this team special that allowed you to get to the top of the mound? Uh, the thing that makes this team so special is that we got a rough start to the season, you know. A lot of people weren't believing in us no more, and it was a lot of adversity at the beginning of the season. Everybody came together. We came together as a family, brothers, and, you know, you stuck it out, and look at us now if you're champions. You talk about adversity. You had to step in for Julius Chestnut when he got hurt. You turned out you were leading the nation in Russia at one point. Just talk about the season for you and how you were able to step in and play so well in Julius's absence. Uh, honestly, this season has just been so surreal to me. You know, coming in, having Julius, an amazing running back like that, in front of you, you know, you don't expect to do these things, you know. But just learning from him day in, day out, having great coaches like that, having great teammates, everyone who believes in you, is just so, so surreal. And it's amazing to have a season like this, you know. You just got to keep building on it. And then he comes back. You guys have to split carries. And, you know, for two different guys, that could be a thing where yeah. nobody wants to share. Yeah. Why did it work for the two of you? Uh, it honestly worked for the two of us because, like, our running back room, we're so unselfish. Like, when he when he runs the ball, I tell him, good job. You can do this, you can do that. Make sure he's, he's got his A game on, you know. When I run the ball, he's like, good job, good, good, do this, do that. And everything is just good. We just work together. We always try to help each other out. And finally, give some love to your offensive line. The offensive line, amazing. I love those guys up front. They're they the reason I have the season that I have this year. And those guys, if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't be champions, you know. I love those guys. They're an amazing group of guys, the best offensive line in, in the league, in the conference. Congratulations. Best luck in the playoffs, Malik. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Paul, back to you. Thanks a lot, Paul. Now we're joined by the head coach of Sacred Heart, Mark Nofri. Mark, you've had a bunch of championship teams. Each one has its own character. Each one's a little bit different. What makes this group different and special? Uh, I think their leadership and the fact that uh, nothing fazed these guys. You know, things were looking pretty bleak there. You know, when we lost to uh, Howard. Um, and, you know, what, with the senior leadership and the kids I have and the determination that they have, uh, they came together, they got it figured out. and. I tell you what, they had to figure it out quick because uh, for what they just did here the last six weeks is amazing. I couldn't be more proud of them. We just talked to Malik Grant, him with Julius, and the offensive line. Why was your running game so dominant all year long? I think football is important to those guys. They take pride in it. Uh, you know, you got two of the better backs in the country, uh, if not the best backs in the country. The old line takes pride in it. And, uh, Coach Gardner and Coach Gunning Smith, who coaches the old line, do a phenomenal job with those guys, and uh, it shows. And and that's been our bread and butter. You know, listen, we're going to run the ball. We're going to tell you what we're going to do, and the guys take pride in it, and it's worked for us. And I think in order to win football games and championships, you got to be able to run the ball, and you got to stop the running. That's what we do. And uh, again, it's all them. It's the old line. It's the two backs, and uh, I couldn't be more proud of that yeah. team. Now, how do you feel about the team now heading into the playoffs? Try to win a couple more games. Yeah, hopefully we can uh, make a statement, and you know, let's let's look at the first round draw, who we get, and hopefully we. Get one there. Finally, we talked about on the broadcast for a couple minutes. Last two days have been rough for you, coach. You're a little bit of pain. You just got out of surgery, out of the hospital yesterday. Going through all this with these guys, does it make it all worth it? it makes it worth it. I didn't uh, didn't know if I was going to be here. Didn't think I was going to be here, but found a way. And uh, again, can't let uh, can't let the kids down. And uh, I talk to them all the time about shoot grit and being tough. That's what you got to do. Good to see you, coach. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. Back up to you. Congratulations to the Pioneers. They are off to the FCS playoffs. The bracket to be announced tomorrow at 12.30 p.m. on ESPNU. For Kevin Gilbride and John Schmelk and our producer Jared Fieldsend, I'm Paul Latino saying so long from Long Island in our final NEC telecast of the season where our final score is Sacred Heart 38 and LIU 14. All games airing on the ESPN networks are streaming live and archived on the ESPN app. This has been a presentation of ESPN. So long, everybody.